Hi everyone, today I'm doing a top digital planning tips in GoodNotes video. So GoodNotes is very popular in the digital planning community. It is very user friendly. So I'm just going to get straight into it and go through some of my favorite tips for digital planning in GoodNotes app. You can easily change the color of text, handwriting, highlighters and shapes with the lasso tool. So just tap on this lasso tool and then draw around the shape that you want to color and then tap within the selection and then tap color and then you can pick your color and you can also pick a custom color in this palette or you can tap on this wheel and then choose a different color in here. This next tip is about inserts. So I'm just going to drag and drop an insert here using the tip I showed you earlier. And this insert is just a PNG image of a bookshelf that I'm going to use as a template. So you can just resize this until it fits your page. You can also um, drag the handles until it fits your page exactly how you want it. And then you can just write over the top of this page. The text search function in GoodNotes is really useful. So for example, let's say I just have the word dog on a page and I want to search for this when I'm on another page. So let's say I don't know where that is. And then I can tap on this magnifying glass at the top and then just type in the word dog and then you can see it's found it on that page. If you're new to digital planning and you're looking for a free planner to try out, you can download this free demo digital planner from our website. I'm going to put the link down below. And this planner is dated all the way until the end of December 2021. It has weekly hyperlinks that you can go to the weekly page. And the weekly layouts have this lined layout for better handwriting. So you can write in a straight line and you can just tap on the hyperlinks to go to any month in the year that you want. This next tip is about restoring pages that you've accidentally deleted. So let's say that you've accidentally deleted a page and you'll find that the hyperlinks go into that page will no longer work when you try to tap on it. So what you can do is go back out into your main documents area and then tap on the cog icon and then go to the trash bin. And then you will find your latest deleted document and you can just recover this. And once you've done that, if you go back into your document again, you will find that the hyperlink now works. You can use the highlighter function to color things directly in GoodNotes. So here I'm just using this pink highlighter and then you can color in this flower. This next tip is about dragging and dropping images directly from Safari. So if you take your finger and slide it down from the bottom, you can bring up Safari in a sidebar and then if you tap on your image, you can long press on this and then drag that directly into your planner. You can also drag and drop pictures from your cloud storage. So here I'm using OneDrive and I've got some images in here. So you can just drag and drop all of those images onto your planner page. You can also drag and drop pictures from your camera roll. So here I'm just going to pick an image for my camera roll and then drag that into my planner. On hyperlinks, if you have a hyperlink in your planner, so this is something that you tap and it takes you to a different page. Let's say that I did not want to have this box showing up. You can color this in a different color. So I'm just going to pick a white pen and then I'm going to color this in. I just make this a bit bigger so you can see it. So now that hyperlink is completely invisible, but when you tap on it, it still recognizes that hyperlink. So the same principle applies to other hyperlinked pages. You can use a white pen and erase out the title of something that you want to change. And you can use the text box function, just going to change the font to um, something that's similar to what I already have in the planner. You can then reposition this, just make that a little bit bigger. Can then reposition this and then the hyperlink will still work when you go to that page and then here i just put the words reading list as well on the top so you can see this is just some text that i've added to the top of that page to change this page from a blank list into a reading list if you want a quick and easy way to change the titles in your planner, you can use a pen that is the same color as your planner so you can see here if i just cover this up, then you can use a text box
and then I can resize this font and just place it over where I want it to go and then you will have replaced that word and then you can just easily copy this over to another page. So how do you get the same color pen as your background? So you can take a screenshot of the screen with the home button and the power button and if you press it down together you will take a screenshot and then if you tap on the screenshot you will see this color palette up here. So you can tap on this and then you see this eyedropper at the top. You can tap on this and then holding it down just lift it over the color that you want to pick and then if you go into sliders you will see this is your hex code. So if you double tap on this you can then copy and then just come out of this screenshot because you don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to do done, delete screenshot. And then in the pen tool, if you go back in here, you can then just add that into your custom hex code. So I'm just going to paste that and then my pen will be the same color as my background. If you like to use text boxes a lot, you can save your favorite fonts and styles in default. So I'm just going to pick a font here and then change the size. And then you can also pick a color and then tap on this and save as default. Then every time you put down a text box, that will then be in your favorite textile. You can easily convert handwriting to text. So lasso it, tap inside it, and then you can tap on convert. And then you can see it's converted it to text. And then you can do the share and then do copy and then you can then paste it onto the page and here it is as text and it will appear as your chosen default text. You can use the lasso tool to move around all your stickers in one go and if you use this picture icon you can then move images independently of each other. So you can see you can move that whereas with the lasso you move everything in one go and also with the picture icon you can resize images out of proportion like this so you can actually change the dimension of your stickers. And another tip is on the ordering of stickers. So it's the sticker that you place down last that goes on top. So if I then cut this and paste this onto my page, you can see that this goes on top. Whereas if you cut this image at the bottom and then put it on here, then this will go on top. To install custom fonts into GoodNotes, you need this iPhone app. So if you install iFont and then you will see find fonts to install, just tap on this and I recommend Dafont. This is a good website for free fonts and then you can just find any font that you want in here. So I'm just going to pick stay and shine. You can download this font and then import to iFont. And then what you can do is go back into this installer and then you can see your font is down here. So you can tap on install allow, close. You can see it says review the profile and settings app if you want to install it. So you just go close and then you come back out and go into your settings. In settings, in profile downloaded, you can see this font has already been sent here. You can just tap on install and then install. And then you can come back out into this, go back into GoodNotes. And when you then use the text box function, you should be able to find your font in the list. If you have a black paper planner, you can use a white pen or a colored pen to write on it. So here I'm just going to pick a white pen and you can also use different colors as well. And you can also use a light colored pen on a sticker. This next tip is about getting creative using the crop tool in GoodNotes. So let's say that I wanted to use this sticker I'm just going to paste this over into my planner page. But I only want three boxes out of five. What you can do is long press on this image and then tap on edit and then tap it again and then tap on crop. And then using the rectangle crop, you can just crop out the bottom two rows that you don't want. And this will give you a different sticker from your original image. And similarly here I have a, a list. I can edit this, crop this, and then I can just get rid of the parts that I don't want to change my original sticker. 
This next tip is about writing in a straight line. If you struggle to write in a straight line on blank pages, you can um, put onto your page one of these stickers that is basically like a line overlay and you can toggle the handles to make it wider or thinner and you can just place this over your page and use this as a guideline. And once you're done with it, what you can do is just delete the sticker if you don't want to see that on your page. And here is another one that's in a slightly different layout. This one is a dotted layout instead of lines in case you prefer to use this one. So once again, it just has the dots and you can use this as a grid line. And uh, if you want to change the dimensions of this page, you can just do crop and then crop it into the size that you want. So let's say you only wanted a square. You can do that and now you have a square grid. My other tip for writing in a straight line is to use a matte screen protector. Here I'm using this Belmont brand which I bought from Amazon and this basically just applies over the top of your screen and it has a more um, matte surface so it gives your Apple Pencil more grip on the page and that does help you to write better in a straight line. This next tip is about semi-transparent stickers. So here I have a fully opaque sticker and then a version of it that is semi-transparent. So what that means is that if I copy this over to my planner page, it allows you to see underneath to the page. So if you have writing over this, you can place the sticker over and you will still be able to see the writing underneath. So if I do that and then zoom in, you can see that you can still see the writing underneath it. This next tip is about airdropping directly from your iPhone to your iPad. So here I'm just going to take a photo of my desk and then I'm going to tap on the photo and then I'm going to do the share icon and then do airdrop and then I'm going to pick my iPad and then you can see that's appeared on my iPad and then I can tap on the share icon on here to copy photo and then I can go back into good notes and then long press on the page and paste that onto my planner page. This next tip is about layering stickers. So let's say that you have a, a sticky note like this. You can layer on a different element on top to make it more interesting. So here I've just put different elements onto the original sticker. And same with these elements here. You can see I've just put a heart on the top of this one. And you can also put words on top of sticky notes. And to move them all in the same go, you can just use the lasso tool and that will move everything together. You can use floral doodle stickers to decorate your stickers as well. You can also make your own doodles in GoodNotes itself using the pen. And then you can use the lasso tool and then just resize that and use that as a sticker. When you move it, just make sure that in the lasso tool you have handwriting on and images off and then you will be able to lasso this doodle independently of the sticker that's underneath it. And you can also change the colour of this using the tip that I showed earlier. To reorder the pages in your planner, you can just tap on this four squares icon at the top and then you can just long press on any page and drag and drop this into the correct place in your planner. This next tip is about making stickers. If you get Procreate app for the iPad, you can easily make stickers and in the color palette, you can just pick colors and drag and drop them. And then you can just copy the layer and go back into your planner and long press on the page to paste that onto your page. And once you have one image, it's also really easy to change different aspects of it. So you can change the hue, saturation and brightness. So you can see here, I'm just playing with the different colors. You can make lots of different stickers with one image. And then you can just copy that again into your planner. So in GoodNotes app, you can easily duplicate any page and copy it as many times as you want. So let's say that I wanted to copy this template multiple times. What you can do is tap on this four squares icon at the top and then tap on this down arrow. And then all you have to do is to duplicate and then this will create another page right next to it. So now you can see I've got two expense trackers. What you can also do is you could copy this page so you could do select 
select this page, tap on copy, done. And then let's say you wanted it moved elsewhere in your planner. I can go to somewhere else in the planner and then tap on the down arrow and then do add page after and then paste page. And that will paste that page into the correct place in my planner. This next tip is about saving your favorite stickers onto a page for easier access. So if you're using PNGs and you um, regularly use the same ones, you can just all import them onto a page like I have done here. So these are all just individual stickers. And if you just keep them on a page like this, then when you want to use them in your planner, you can just go to your sticker book and then pick the one that you want to use. And you can simply just copy and paste it onto your page. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you think I've missed any tips out, leave me a comment in the comment box and I'll see you next time. Bye.